tiny. You're gonna clean his windshield? <laughs> Guido from Cars. What an absolute legend. Hopefully my pit crew can be somewhere near as fast as he is in this stupid crazy race that I'm about to do. So the World Touring Car 800 at Sardinia, it's the usual credit grind. We, we all know about that. But what happens if I try an alternate pit strategy? The usual fastest way to win this race is with a two-stop strategy, pitting at the end of lap number five and the end of lap number 10. In this video, I'm going to try the exact opposite of that strategy. So I'm going to pit on every single lap, except five and except ten, and can I win? This video may be a little bit different to a lot of my other videos, and hopefully it will be aired as a YouTube premiere. So get involved in the comments, get involved in the chat. I want to see your thoughts as this race progresses. I'm going to be using the Honda NSX from 2008. It's one of my favourite cars for Sardinia. It's a Group 2 car detuned to meet regulations running on the racing hard tyres. The full tune and setup will be at the end of this video. Let me know what you think of that one when you get around to testing it but right now we are up to 17th position. What a fantastic start. Traffic will be an absolute nightmare in this race. I'll be passing the same car multiple times so I need to make sure I make my moves very efficiently, very quickly but at the same time I'm going to try and be as courteous and kind to these AI drivers as possible. There will hopefully be no ramming can't guarantee it was going to try and go three wide around the outside of the corner there. that's not going to work out for us but the throw is going to come over and block us and oh, just sneak past there so yeah i'm going to try and treat these guys with respect the ai is said to easy difficulty that's a full disclaimer before we start i think it'd be impossible to do it on anything harder than easy difficulty we're going to go massive dive on tigney there uh, to the inside of the subaru and to the inside of the bmw we're making light work of these guys up to ninth already but very soon we're going to be spending a bunch of time in the pits so I'm going to be pitting, I think, 12 times in this race, 20-ish uh, seconds per pit stop. Do the math. You can work that one out. Uh, let me know because I can't do that in my head right now. So let me know in the comments below what actual pit time will be lost in the pits during this race. So already we're up to seventh position. Looks like we are 10 seconds off the lead of this race, but almost immediately we've got to make a pit stop. And this is starting to look like a very difficult challenge, this one, guys, up to fifth pits already this is the first time these guys these guys are going to get worked out today uh, hopefully they'll be on point and actually for the first few pit stops i'm not going to make any new tires or fuel my goal i think to be is to use the same tire strategy as the normal fastest way to race i don't want to be spending four seconds extra per pit stop to change tires i can't use medium tires because that will put me over the pp limit i think the best way to get around is with high power and using the racing hard tires so exit the pits we're in the last position now 25 seconds off of the lead of this race so it's probably 15 seconds for a no pit pit stop um so yeah uh, this looks like a bit of a challenge to me guys let me know what you think so far in the comments below i've got to do everything that i did on lap one all over again a little bit of swaz a little bit of twitch on corner exit there we're gonna uh, carve through these guys now uh, back up with the corvette uh, that we snuck around the outside of this exact same corner one lap previously so is, is it going to be a battle every single lap now obviously the ai drivers will have their own pit stops and most likely when they take their pit stops i won't be taking my pit stops so that should give us some advantage as this race goes on but right now we are i think losing ground every single lap to these guys we, we can pass them but the pit stop just puts us really out of touch so let me know how you think this one's going to play out is it possible to get on the podium is it possible for a top five is the win even possible let me know what you think in the comments or in the live chat love to see what you think about this one he's going to go to the inside of Tijin. double dive bomb there on the subaru as well but he's going to, he's going to hang it around the outside and make it really difficult for me and we're going to get him absolutely nailed on corner exit it's at this point in the lap where you feel positive and then you realize i need a pit stop well, I don't need a pit stop. I thought I'd do a pit stop. And yeah, that's all for nothing, that hard work. Again, no pit, no tires, no fuel. These guys are just, well, they're just idling. They're doing nothing. They're actually thinking, what is he thinking? Why is he coming through the pits every single time? But I'm going to play through this race completely unedited so you can see everything that we do. Let me know in the comments below or the live chat if you think you might try this challenge. Make sure you set it to easy because it is pretty much impossible without, I'd say. Um, and we are 
actually in the last position again. Oh, we did gain time on the Porsche there. So we are making progress on the Porsche in last place, but the other drivers, I've still got to pass them. Oh, I did not know what he was going to do there. Uh, he's in the middle of the track, on the brakes, not a clue there. But we managed to avoid that absolute disaster there. Uh, closing into the back of the Ford right now. Uh, the Ford GT uh, making light work. You know what? I've never driven that car properly. I've done it for a circuit experience, but I've never driven the car. Maybe I should try it. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy driving that car. And then we're back up with the Corvette again, a little bit further down the road than we were a couple of laps ago. So I am actually losing ground on all of the drivers. Hopefully the pit stops will play into my favour. I say pit stops, well, I've been doing a lot of pit stops in this race. On that uh, right side of the screen, you'll see that every lap will be red, either with a pit exit or a pit entry lap. Um, and through this uh, this uh, right-left sequence, AI are so bad through here, especially on easy difficulty. They just stall up. Uh, you'll see a little bit later in the video where we actually fly by a bunch of them. So now closing into the uh, final significant corner of the lap, and you guess what we're gonna do in a minute, guys. Uh, sneak to the inside of the Subaru uh, the Mazda Vision there is going to carry on and we're going to throw it down pit lane why not uh, again no fuel no tyres required I think we'll be changing tyres thinking about fuel on the next pit stop because on the fifth lap I'm going to skip the pits which will be a rarity Okay, into the pits once more uh, I'm using the Raybrig livery on this uh, Honda NSX a vintage uh, Japanese Grand Touring Car Championship livery. Uh, love it, absolutely love it. One of my favourite cars from uh, JGTC. And uh, yeah, it's great to drive this car. It's great that it's good in Gran Turismo Sports, you know. Gran Turismo Sport? No, we're in Gran Turismo 7 now. Uh, mine's getting a bit weird with uh, all the, these pit stops. So we are making progress actually. We've exited the pits in 17th position. Um, although the guys that. Yeah, it looks like the Corvette is a little bit closer to us than we would normally. A little bit of swaz on corner X there. We need to watch out because the tyres are starting to wear. Uh, fuel is getting lighter. We're hanging on the outside of the Corvette. A little bit of a door bang there. I think that was a bit on me, to be honest. I think I turned in a bit on the Corvette. So I hold my hands with that one. Uh, no harm, no foul, though. No damage to the cars. And we are good to go. Uh, lap number four. Surprise, surprise. Will be a pit lap. Uh, but I'm going to skip lap five. So we need to make sure we're fueled to make lap fives. We'll go very deep on the brakes there. Really, oh, that was a bit of a mistake from us. We need to be much better than that if we're really going to start to affect the podium positions in this race. But the leader has pitted. This is an interesting one here. The leader in this Sardinia race does pit more frequently than a lot of other drivers. I'm going for a big dive bomb on this uh, Lexus there. We're going to get that done, actually. What a fantastic move that was. Um, on the Ferrari, are we going to beat him off the corner? It looks like we've got the drive on that Ferrari uh, up to 11th place. But you guess what's about to happen now. It looks like it's a pit lap for us. Now, I need to be very, very switched on with this. I need to change tyres and I need to put enough fuel in to allow me to do the two laps to allow me to do my non-pit stop pit lap. So I need at least two laps of fuel, so I'm going to probably overfill it a little bit, 2.5 laps of fuel, maybe up to 50% on the fuel tank. In we go, the first time the guys get into action now, swapping them tyres over just like Guido, absolutely fantastic stuff guys, superb job. Uh, about 50% fuel, it's going to get me two laps now, and away we go. Exiting the pits in 16th position, we are progressing. Are we going to defend this one as a guy? No, I don't need to, I don't need to, no problem at all. So this is the two laps where I really need to put in a big charge and it's where we might start to get an indication of my actual race pace we can see uh, the fastest lap of the race so far is a 1 minute 48 from uh, Portilla but with every lap so far for me being an out lap I have no no idea what my lap time pace will be what my genuine lap time pace will be now in a normal uh, event I could probably do a 1 minute 35 I can probably do a full race time of, of 25 minutes almost exactly. But with this in-out uh, fuel, um, pit stops, fuel and drivers, oh, I don't know what's going on, quite frankly, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you kept track of this one so far. Um, we are in 15th place. There is the Ford again. We've seen a lot of that car this race so far. Getting a bit sick of it to be honest. Um, one thing to note, uh, can you see the Angry Birds pig? 
in the back of that four. Someone pointed it out to me and I cannot unsee it anymore. So that's kind of spoiled that car for me um, through that chicane here. Now I need to really pay attention to, to not going the pits during this lap. Other drivers are pitting. This is their main pit lap. This is the usual two stop strategy uh, pit lap. So for me, I'm allowed to not pit. I'm doing the opposite strategy. So for the first time in the whole race, I'm just going to go flat out down the full straight. Absolutely perfect. All good. The issue I've got is I don't know where to break for turn one. I've, I've, I've never run into turn one in this race yet, flat out. We're going to go, whoa, to the outside of the, uh, I think it was the AMG Mercedes, around the outside of the Aston there. And we're going to be up into second place. Magic what a, a, a non-pit lap can do for you, really. And now we're going to see what our true pace is. This is a full flying lap. Uh, we're not going to be able to complete it, but we're going to get some lap times at the checkpoint. We're going to see how our sector times uh, translate to the uh, fastest lap of the race so far. So first sector, and we are four seconds up on the fastest lap of the race in sector one alone. So that is looking very positive for us so far. Uh, down the long straight here, we look pretty free on traffic, to be honest. We are only uh, less than five seconds behind the leader, although we're going to start to suffer again with our pit laps once again on the brakes now about 125 meter board uh, down the second gear to float through this corner here just running nicely wide brushing the curb flat out through this section of the track staying in fourth gear revving it out and we are eight seconds up on that lap time already so it's looking good and there is the leader are we going to be able to get to the lead of this race um, I want to just send it because I want to be in the lead for at least one part of this race and we're going to send it on the final significant corner of the track now up to first place. Now we're going to start suffering with the pain. We're not going to be able to finish this lap um, A because we're almost out of fuel and B the goal is to pit on every lap that you would normally not pit on before. So uh, I'm not going to change tyres but I do remember need to remember to fuel. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to always keep just basically one lap of fuel every single pit stop the fuel guy is going to be have to be very accurate with his fueling and i need to be really uh, accurate with where i stop this I need, I need to not make a mistake if i underfill the car this race is completely blown but i don't want to overfill the car because it's going to be too heavy so right now i'm going to have another uh, seven or eight laps of one laps worth of fuel of, of car so that's going to be good that's a bit deep on the brakes there um okay so we're in fourth position now and let's see how this one plays out. About 16 seconds, 15 seconds off of the lead of this race. Um, but I can see third place right ahead of me now. I'm gonna be losing time each lap because of the pit stops, but I can make the time up in my non-pit lap. I'm not sure this is possible to win, guys. I, I can't really see how it's gonna work out. It's difficult. Uh, so we are gonna put a move on third place. I think there's a bit of contact there as it stored up a little bit there. Um, but yeah, third place, second place is ahead now. And the important thing for me that plays into my advantage slightly is the field is starting to spread out. So I'm getting less traffic on each of my laps after come a bit of swazze. I nearly lost the car, that was dangerous. That would be race completely over. I think there's a bit of a bump in the middle of that corner. And if you're on the gas early, you can hit that bump, skip the rear wheels, brake traction, and just lose the car. If you wait till you're over that bump before you get on the gas, acceleration is no problem at all. So, oh, a bit deep into the final corner there. Looking forward to our pits once again. Seven seconds off the lead, four to the good for third place. Um, but now we've got to be very uh, cautious with the way we fuel the car again. I'm going to take no tires this time, but I need to make sure I've still got another lap of fuel each time. Just put in a splash and dash. I'm going to have I think there's seven more or six more splashes and dashes until the end of this race. Uh, tire crew don't need to go to work. Uh, the fuel filler is going to put a little bit of fuel in for me. And let's see how this one plays out. Pit lane exit is a dangerous one, um, but we're clear this time. Actually, in update 1.23, I think they've changed the way the pit exit is at this track because you can drive the car a lot earlier than you used to be able to. So you can drive the car and keep to the right and keep out the way. Uh, looking at the splits now, 24 seconds to the lead. So we're losing 13 to 15 seconds each pit stop. And oh, I, I don't know how this one's gonna play out, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know in the live chat if you're playing along 
with the the, the live premiere uh, I don't normally do this stuff so it's, it's interesting just to try things new I, I like to try things new whether it's new uh, cars setups uh, race styles video types whatever uh, let me know in the comments below or in the live chat what more things you'd like to see on this channel I'm always interested in trying new stuff we've had a bit of a quiet lap so far actually so the traffic has thinned out considerably and it looks like it's a battle for the podium that I'm in but I'm not sure I can get there because each lap the the guys ahead are stretching so the, the Mercedes there and the Aston Martin I've caught them a lot further down the lap than I did the first time around so they are stretching away they're going to have to make their pit stop I'm going to have a non-pit lap and actually the leader is in the pits so that's going to be an interesting one for me because is he going to be a contender for the winner I'm not quite sure now he normally is but in this race I'm not sure he's got the pace uh, no uh, tyres for me uh, once again we're going to fuel just a little bit just to get me around one more lap each time and I do need to remember that on lap nine, I think it is when I pit, I need to remember to put two laps of fuel in it because I don't pit on lap number 10. I don't want to get that one wrong. Uh, the guys go to work um, earning their wages today. And there is the leader because he had to put a fuel tank of fuel in. Uh, we are straight up racing now. So this this might be on the cards, guys. Let me know how you think this one's playing out. Have we got a shot at this one? It's going to go on the outside. Uh, of turn one and actually blow his doors off goodbye see you later and i think he's gonna have to pit one more time we're gonna have to pit three or four more times i don't know where we're at now i'm losing track of the amount of pit stops i've had but look at the uh the lap time feed on the right hand side of the screen have you ever seen that before so many pit stops so many out laps just a complete sea of red if you're enjoying this video so far make sure you hit that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel we've got plenty of other content for Gran Turismo 7 whether it be uh, tips and tricks videos help uh, lap guides or just some fun straight up racing and while we're talking about the channel while we've got a little bit of a dead space in this race right now I have enabled channel memberships um, it is not compulsory my content will always be provided for free all of my all of my best content will be up there free for everybody to to watch and enjoy think of it like uh, tipping a waiter or making a voluntary donation to the channel to help to support me uh, to buy equipment to make different videos uh, i'll also try and share some behind the scenes stuff from time to time whether it's an, a new video idea or members only polls where you can choose what my next video will be or even suggest a video for me to make in the future stupid challenges like this I, i'm up for anything like that so let me know in the comments below if you do join as a membership that'd be really really appreciated but if you don't it's all good the content is always available for you to enjoy so we're going to pit once again this is lap number nine and this pit stop i should have taken tires and i should have filled for an extra two laps but i i forgot both i forgot to do tires i filled up a lap so i've made a bit of a cock up here guys uh so i'm gonna have to pit on lap 10 so i'm gonna yeah oh, jesus I, I didn't really think i wasn't paying attention uh, the BMW, I'm going to just get that move back done, just about keep it on track there. Didn't want to get stuck behind traffic on the outlap. Um, yeah, mistake there from me, guys. So I'm going to have to defer my non-pit lap to be lap 11, 12, I don't know. The, I'm going to have to pit at the end, end of this lap, basically, guys. So we need to run to the end of this lap. Um, hopefully the tyres will make it. I'm a bit concerned now that I should have taken tires i didn't take tires fuel should be okay just a one lap no problem but yeah bugger tires are gonna be a problem i need to really make sure i don't bin it especially on that high speed left hander it's such a difficult corner and it's so easy to get it wrong uh, there is portilla there so we are gonna start to catch him up now i think he's had a bit of a bad race to be honest let me know in the comments below whenever you do the sardinia grind Portilla normally is at the head of the field, so I don't know if it's had a mistake during that this race or not. I've got to keep it under control through here. We do that quite nicely. Uh, so that is all good on the brakes into the final significant corner. And we are going to make it on tyres, which is a relief. I actually got a little bit worried there. Um, but yeah, it looks like we pit for the leader as well. Pit for both the front two. Now this is interesting because they'll be pitting... Uh, to the end of the race i need to pit because i forgot to uh, fuel my car uh, i definitely need yep, new tires thank god i put new tires on there 
Now I need to put two laps of fuel in because I'm gonna do my non-pit lap after this lap. If that makes sense to you, then, then you're cleverer than I am. Uh, so the boy's gonna go to work, get some new tires on the car. This belief for them to actually get warmed up and do some stuff. And then we're gonna fill the car for two laps of fuel. And this is where I need to make it really happen, guys. If I'm gonna have a shot of a podium or even to win this race, these two laps need to be absolutely spanking hot. And also I need to remember where to break into turn one and when I do my fl full flying lap. So out of the pits, we're looking pretty good. The AMG Mercedes, fantastic car to drive that is. Uh, he should be dispatched pretty quickly, maybe into the next corner here. Yep, no problem at all. On the brakes, down to third gear for the first part of this corner. I'm going to have to send it on these. Oh, we're going to throw it there and squeeze it. He saw me there, so that's good driving from that AI uh, Aston Martin guy. So yeah, we can make this happen now, guys. If you've been along for the ride for the whole video so far, then let me know in the comments below. I uh, really appreciate you sticking around to see this, this video play out. It was enjoying and it, enjoyable and exciting to do. And even doing the after commentary on it, it's actually different to do. It's nice to do something a bit different, a bit fun, a bit, uh, a bit out there. Uh, on the brakes now, 125 meter board pretty much turning in and uh, second gear, careful on corner exit. Don't want to hit that bump. And we are 15 seconds away from the leader. Pretty sure he's got a pit again. So that is going to be within reach through the most difficult corner on the track. And we do that quite nicely. End of this lap, I need to remember to not pit. So this is my non-pit lap. I've had to go one lap longer because of, uh, because of brain problems. Um, but yeah, we're going to go straight past the pits on this lap now. So let's see how this one plays out. We're going to get a bit of a gauge on our... Uh, lap pace as well to see how we are uh, doing we're going to get some uh, lap deltas uh, braking reference for this is between the start of the curb and the the, the orange on the, the the barrier there and we're going to get on the brakes and we do get it stopped quite nicely uh, all these uh, years of, of grinding sardinia uh, you do start to remember that it's not really a problem make sure you subscribe to the channel because i'm going to try out more cars around sardinia can I get below 25 minute race time? I'm going to actually try a group one detuned car. I, I don't like heavily detuning the, the higher performance cars. I, I feel it's a bit, a bit against the spirit of the game, but we're three seconds up on the first sector um, and it's looking good for us so far. In fact, we're really closing into the back of the leader now, only four seconds behind. Are we going to make up the four seconds by the last half of this lap? It could be interesting, certainly through that uh, difficult corner. The AI is so bad through there. We could make a significant chunk of time up uh, through there. And yet we can visually see the leader of the race right now. Uh, when you've got a visual on the car in front of you, it, it's great. It works as a bit of a tow rope. Six seconds up now on the best lap of the race now. And look at him really stalled up through that corner there. I'm going to send it into the final significant corner. Oh, the track. oh, we always break very early there. So we have got to the lead of this race again uh, after doing that no pit stop lap. Are we going to be able to continue the pit stops to the end of the race and still manage to keep in the lead? I'm, I'm not really sure, guys. I'm, I just don't know how this one's going to play out. Uh, I've got a pit. I've run out of fuel. Uh, so we're going to leave the tyres. I don't think we're going to change tyres again. And we're just going to continue that strategy of just topping the car up for one lap's worth of fuel each time. And the leader has pitted as well with me, so that's an interesting one. Uh, the tyre guys, no one's told them, they've still got the tyres out the blankets, they're ready to fit them, but they're not doing any work at all. Bit of splash of fuel and extra the pit lanes. What's gonna happen with, we are pretty clear it seems. Um, so we're gonna get another lap in the lead. Uh, no traffic on this lap, so we need to get the hammer down and uh, really put a good lap in. Uh, we're five seconds ahead of second place. Uh, we should be able to stretch that out a little bit by the end of this lap, but don't forget, guys, we are pitting every lap till the end of the race. So two more pit stops for us, uh, and the drivers in uh, second and third place will not pit again. So two pit stops, I'm not taking much fuel, I'm not taking tyres. That's probably going to be 15 seconds each, 30 seconds uh, worth of fuel 20 a little bit of matter guys I, i've got to be uh, stretching the lead to these guys or, or, or be 20 to 25 seconds faster from now until the end of the race and so far so good with this outlap uh, the clear track just helps you get a focus and helps you really 
uh, hit those markers. Um, need to be very cautious through this difficult left-hander because it is so easy to run too wide and gather up the uh, the barrier there. Uh, it looks like the Corvette is having a bit of a shock of a race, uh, putting a lap on a guy where I'm pitting almost every single lap of the race. That that's pretty poor. Uh, so I'm sure in the Corvette debrief room he's going to get a real uh, stripping down. Um, but yeah, so we've we've got a gap now. 15 can't quite see that 15 seconds yeah looking closely it is uh, 16 seconds to second place i've got to come in it's about a 15 to 16 second pit stop so let's see how this one plays out no tires a little bit of fuel this one's going to be tight on pit exit guys this one's going to be very tight so we're just going to stay to the right hand side of the track and we're going to exit in the leader we're going to get bumped from behind um so oh this is dangerous this is oh dear that is that could have spoiled the race i've got to pit one more time and this guy is not pitting so i need to pass him pit pass him to win this race uh, i've really got to drop the hammer now guys that that mistake wasn't ideal um and yeah tires are going off a little bit but this should still be good enough to win this race i've just got really got to put the laps in the, the weather seems to have gone a bit a bit hazy um that seems to be new since the recent update in gran turismo 7 so let me know in the comments below if you've noticed that around sardinia sometimes it goes a bit cloudy a little bit hazy wouldn't it be fantastic if it just happened to rain once or twice some complete randomness uh, would be superb so now um i'm in the lead of this race but i've got to pit again and it, this one's going to be really tight guys you've got to stay tuned to the end of this race to figure out what actually happens uh, I need to put the best in-lap of my life to get this one done. And there's that Corvette again. He's, I don't want to be... Can I get past him? Is he letting me go? That's a bit... Oh, that is shocking driving there. He's not really committing to any any lines. So I want to send it on the outside on the brakes and get that move done. So this is lap 14. This is going to be my final pit of the race because it's pretty much the final time past the start finish straight. So we're going to pit... Uh, no tyres, splash of fuel, and we will be behind as we exit the pit. So I'm going to have to race and pass these guys to get the win in this race. Top three should be possible, but is the win on the cards? I need to concentrate to make sure I don't underfill the car by mistake. We're all good. Uh, pit stop's done. I am good to go to the end of this race. Whoa, that was close. Oh, I'm now in fourth position. This, ah. Oh. This hasn't worked out, so I've got a bit more traffic than I thought I would have done. Are we going to be able to clear him? Oh, I've got to go around the outside here. That's all good now. Uh, where are the leaders? That I thought I'd be able to see them. They're a little bit further ahead than I thought they would be. So we've got a race on now to get the win in this. Uh, actually, second place is just there. Oh, they are just there. I think I can get this one, guys. I just need to make sure I don't bin it. Uh, I don't want to push too hard. I don't want to really overdrive the car. Uh, we are. We should be good on tyres. We should be good on fuel. Um, AMG. We've got him on. Got him covered on uh, on pace there, guys. So just the Aston Martin to go. And I, I think we've got this one. I think we've got it. Absolutely fantastic. We just need to keep the car on the track. Get to the finish line, and get the win in this race. As Sardinia World Touring Car 800, pitting 12 times, using easy AI difficulty. And we're going to get the win, guys. I think, although, although there's a spanner in the works here, oh, we're going to sneak past that Corvette. Oh, it always, my heart in my mouth when we uh, get across an AI driver at that part of the track because you never know what they're going to do. But luckily, we managed to avoid that with a few millimetres to spare. And uh, one insignificant corner to go in this lap. And we've got the win. We're going to make it fine on fuel. Let me know if you enjoyed this in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with the bell icon uh, ringed, ranged. So you make sure you see every new video we get. We're going to come home in the lead. 12 stop strategy. Who'd have thought that was possible? And we're going to do it in uh, 28 minutes, 19 seconds. So I probably spent about three minutes or more just going through the pits in that race. If you've got this far in the video, then make sure you let me know in the comments below. I'd always love to hear from you. It's always great to interact with you guys. As I said at the start of the video, here is the tune that I used 
Uh, it is tuned to roughly 800 pp, uh, high RPM turbocharger, racing medium tyres and all the other settings you can see on the screen right now. This is such a good car to drive, it's so stable, so fast. I mean you can see how fast it is because we pitted 12 times in that race and we still managed to get the win. On screen right now will be links to other videos which you may find really interesting. Make sure you go and check them out and we'll catch you in the next one.